Hey, welcome. This is a quick video for anybody who's interested who's got a blowfold keyboard who um, wants to do some maintenance on the keybed. Um, here, here we have the offender. It's, it's a B key. Um, was it B4? Maybe B4. Um, basically, I was getting MIDI notes sticking. And the issue is probably because I got a new cat and I wasn't very careful about letting him not climb on my synthesizer because he was new. I was kind of letting him do what he wants to a certain extent and I've got consequently got a hair in the keyboard which I've cleaned up now um, getting the actual keyboard out is really simple um, there is a row of 10 the biggest screws on the back there's a row of 10 of them running parallel down the back here um, now you just take them out being mindful that the key bed will just drop so um, put it on a soft surface maybe as you can see, I preempted having to take more of the chassis apart um, by taking the caps off. Um, but you don't need to do that, it's just those 10 screws at the back. As you can see, there's a lot of crap in there. And that, I have no idea what that is. I guess it's some sort of oil or something that's dropped. It looks like coffee or something, but I've never spilled anything on it. But as you can see, I've collected some cat hair. Um, so it's pretty basic inside, just a PCB behind there. Can't really show you because it's not in the light. Okay, so you've got the keyboard out. Getting the keys out is really easy. Um, you've got these springs, and if you pull the bottom of the spring, it will just lift out of its placement. Now, um, to get the actual key off itself, I've started to um, think it had to be unclipped from the front, but you don't need to put any pressure on it. So if you're needing to put pressure, um, something's up because it literally just lifts up and pulls out from the back so you just need to sort of push it forward and lift it up from the back um, and it will just slide off so here's the offender, this is the um, contact which underneath I think is some sort of carbon contact ribbon I forget what it's called um, and I'm guessing there's a hair in there or something stopping it from working hopefully I've fixed it now, I've hoovered it out and what have you it could be a problem with the actual contact ribbon um, or worse than that, it could be some sort of software issue, I guess, but it'd be fairly random to happen to one key, wouldn't it? Um, so that's it, it's very simple to f take apart. Hopefully, I've fixed it. Hopefully, it's simple to fix. Um, that's the key bed itself. On a side note, it's, um, it's such a good key bed for the money you pay, it's um, one of the best I've seen. It beats, um, beats the Korg and the um, Nord key beds I've seen quite frankly, for the money, so um, seeing as this is half the price of most of those you really do get a good deal on the key bed. Now this is the uh, contact plate on the back for picking up the um, polyphonic aftertouch and velocity and what have you, all those MIDI functions um, and to do that you need to undo all these screws which is a tremendous amount of fun just take them off this backboard here um, and then we can flip it over and see what's going on. I've just removed another key there just for easy access while I was trying to um, fix the issue without having to remove this. So we just flip that over. And here we have the contact rubber which I've lifted a bit. This just pulls out with pliers. It's only rubber holding them in the holes. As you can see you've got, I'll try and get it in the light, you've got four sensors here. Obviously picking up various movement of the key for that um, polyphonic aftertouch so um, I couldn't see too much debris in between these um, contacts um, and the board so I'm guessing it's either going to be a problem uh, in the circuit or some sort of random software issue okay so good news is that I sorted it um, it seems it wasn't so much um, um, dirt on the membrane really because there wasn't much there um, after playing around with it for a bit, it seems that the actual membranes um, over time um, just get too um, compressed, I guess, lifting it, uh, lifting the membrane up off the m circuit board and giving it a quick hoover. And I think just the action of lifting it has um, sort of pushed all the rubber back into it, into it, into its place, and it's um, got its spring its springiness back, as it were. So I just recommend lifting it off putting it back on the board, pushing the rubber dimples through the circuit board to hold it in place, then maybe getting a pair of pliers 
um, the other side of the circuit board and pulling the rubber through properly and making sure it's aligned right sticking it back and that seems to have fixed the issue hope that helps so that was the uh, b4 key here and as you can hear it's coming through my headphones so it won't be very loud but you'll hear as you can hear it's all back and no notes are sticking anymore so hopefully that's helped somebody who uh, gets the same issue as i have See you later. What's that you doing, Moog? What are you doing, Moog? Moog? Yes. It's in you. What are you doing, Moog? What's that about? Making your bed?